Hey everybody, guess what? I'm at the movie theater. Woohoo! And it's time for Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. Mm. Fantastic Mary. Whoops, I always miss the wave. I'm too in a hurry. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I got the, oh, didn't mean to give the finger to you. That was meant for me, sorry. Uh, but yeah, very excited. I had a crazy freaking day. I'm just like the last five minutes, I've finally been able to realize I'm gonna go see this movie. So, oh yeah, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Okay, so, hey everybody. <laughs> we just saw Batman vs. Superman. Uh, this is going to be our no spoilers talk. We're, we're not gonna spoil anything. Mary's here. Hi. Hi. You got the hat. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's been rainy. It's gloomy weather out here, which is appropriate for the tone of the film. <laughs> yeah. I can see why the reviews, and I'm not necessarily saying it's a bad thing. I mean, because it works for the movie. But it is definitely a downer of a film. I don't, there's maybe like, two moments of levity in the whole thing and I won't, I won't spoil them here but I mean it's I mean the way you just spoiled Dark Knight Returns for me yeah kind of mm -hmm. in the heat of the moment I mentioned something making a reference and forgot that she hadn't seen or read it yet so I'm an asshole I am an asshole and I am sorry <laughs> granted I didn't spoil the entire thing for her just a moment that kind of literally happens at the very end of the book. <laughs> so, Here, here's the last page. Yeah, yeah. In, in our spoiler video, I'll, I'll tell you what that is uh, if I remember to do so. Uh, but uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyways. So Batman versus Superman. Um, yeah, I can see why it's going to be polarizing. I can see why some people are going to love it. Some people aren't going to love it. A lot of people are going to be middle of the road. I'm still processing. I'm, I went in, exp you know, with tempered expectations, but I'm an easy guy with these things. So I figured I'd really dig it. I dug it. I don't know that I really dug it. <laughs> if you want to enjoy it, you will enjoy it. If you go in wanting to hate it, you're going to hate it. That's very fair. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, I was I was hyped for it. And I'm still hyped for it. And I'm going to watch it again and again. And I like Man of Steel. Although I think this is a little more brutal and a little darker than, well, a lot darker than even that. And it's yeah. not just because of Batman. I mean, it's just, it's fucking dark. <laughs> and it really is, you know, the Dark Knight returns kind of vibe so uh he's still heavily from that and he's still heavily from another major superman storyline that i won't tell you because i don't want to spoil anything um i guess i could say the trailers really screwed this movie up too uh without saying what the trailer you, you kind of get almost everything given away in all the trailers there's a few surprises but actually i don't feel that way really no. i think that certain reveal and we'll I go mean, more in uh, depth but okay there's stuff that we could have done without in the trailer, sure. But, the, again, the way the trailers were cut and the way you, it's actually presented in the movie was different enough to make me go, I was like, oh, that really wasn't what I was expecting. That's true. I, I can say that. Like, you, you don't necessarily piece together exactly how the whole story is going to come about. But a certain reveal that everybody got upset about, now that I've seen the movie, I think it would have been a lot more exciting going in blind on that and just it yeah. just comes like what is going on here oh my god that what oh i think it would have been like way it, more it exciting been, but... so i think that really hurt but that particular reveal there's more to that too and there's some cool stuff we'll talk about in spoilers and the, although that may have been a case of they may have felt like they probably couldn't keep that particular thing under wraps anyways maybe so... but i don't know the, the way they've advertised this movie they mm. didn't care about keeping secrets <laughs> they really didn't they yeah. they really didn't and that was kind of annoying because a lot of things we knew and we we were good about staying away from spoilers but we still heard just enough to not be surprised by some things and again keeping it spoiler free there's a certain character that shows up that had we not heard the spoiler that this character shows up in that moment we're not sure we could have recognized that it was that character yeah and I've heard some people complain about this, and without spoiling it in this video, um, yeah, there's there's a major change or two they did to certain characters that are very out of character for that character. <laughs> that, you know, uh, I don't know how I feel about. I got I got some issues with that we'll get into. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I'm, I'm like I said, I love Man of Steel and everything. And, and you know, I, Zack Snyder's a great visual director, and visually I thought it was a beautiful film. Uh, but... You know, he's not the greatest at storytelling, and, and you can kind of feel that in this. And it's two and a half hours, and it's long, but it flies. Yeah. So that wasn't really a problem. Um, you know, it had good pace. I, I like the way they introduce every people. They introduce people. There's kind of, you know, the the cliche, oh, oh, what's going on here? Oh, it was a dream. Happens probably more than it should. <laughs> yeah. Um, so can we just wrap this up so we can start talking spoilers? I know. She's 
she's she's gonna do something mean to me. I have a feeling where I screwed up and spoiled uh, Dark Knight Returns. Well, I mean, I don't know. There's there's a lot. Did we kind of cover everything we can cover without spoiling? Because I want I want to make sure people go in as best I can with the right expectations to get the most enjoyment out of it. Uh, there are some big surprises and big shocks, some big things you didn't mm -hmm. see coming. Um, one in particular I'll talk about that's like a big point. Um, Lex is great. We didn't talk about that. Jesse yeah. Eisenberg, fantastic. Especially by the end of the movie, he's Lex Luthor. <laughs> yeah. Although he's not your cartoon Lex. No, 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 no. But he's, <laughs> he's kind of the Lex you want. He's not your... He's the best Lex we've ever seen on film. That's not yeah. saying a lot. <laughs> but he, he's, he, he's believable at, at being this master manipulator. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll say that. Very believable. Uh, ben Affleck, great as, uh, as Bruce Wayne. Mm -hmm. Really good as Batman. Kind of didn't get as much Batman Batman as I would have hoped for. It's, you know, it's, a, it's a lot of Batman. It's not like they didn't use Batman. It's just seeing Batman in his iconic Batman outfit was not as much of the Batman as it should have been for my tastes. I actually kind of like the them using Bruce just a little bit more than they usually do. Oh, well, I'm not complaining about using Bruce. No, I'm with you on that. I love the use of Bruce, uh, Bruce, uh, Bruce Lane. Bruce, Bruce Willis. Bruce Lane. <laughs> Bruce. Oh, my brain Bruce is... Wayne? Th they, thank you. Thank you. That's that's Superman and then Wayne and... The, okay, yeah. Yeah, and Will, oh, yeah, I see how I got there. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> um, but, uh, no, I'm not saying that. I love Bruce Wayne. He did... And there's plenty of Bruce Wayne and that's great. I'm just... Mm -hmm. It's more about not seeing him in the iconic costume as much as in other costumes and things. That's not spoiler. You, you've seen any trailer, you know he's in other outfits too. Um, uh, you know, Superman was good. Where it's such a dark movie, it feels... People complain about Man of Steel being totally dark, but this feels a little weird because he mm -hmm. felt a little out of place in the darkness in this, for me. Um, well, some stuff with Perry White I'll get to in the spoilers that I'm kind of like, really? Felt a little shoehorned. <laughs> Um, oh, oh, the stuff uh, where, you've, again, you've seen the trailers, you know, you kind of see some of the Superman Zod fight from the original movie mm -hmm. uh, from Bruce Wayne's point of view. That was cool. I could have used more of that. That was really interesting. I think that may have been a special effects limitation. Maybe, yeah. Well, I mean, and maybe, look, we're going to get like an extra 30, 40 minutes in the Blu-ray, so maybe there's more in there. Uh, yeah, they definitely crammed everything in here. And again, we'll talk about it in the spoilers, but I'm not sure they really set up Justice League that well. It really, it felt like this was its own kind of self-contained movie and self-contained story. Well, and they're kind of like, oh, here, here's a couple of lines and a couple of beats that say, hey, we're going to set up a Justice League. <laughs> Wonder Woman's coming out before Justice League, right? Yeah, Wonder Woman is uh, the next DC film. No, well, Suicide Squad's the next DC film. But yeah, yeah Wonder Woman will be after that. Right. So I think that's next summer, I think. You can tell me if I'm wrong, but I think so. So there's still more time to set things up. They didn't have to do it all right now. That's true. That's true. But but even what they did, it, it felt a little forced. We'll talk about it in the spoilers. But uh, I think I think that's probably that covers most of the ground, and as non-spoilery as we can. So uh, yeah. So uh, what would you guys think? Have you seen it? Don't spoil in the comments. Not on this video. If you do, make sure you use a spoiler tag, please. Let's keep it fun for everybody else. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And you know, I love that subscriber button. Or really, I love it when you hit that subscriber button. So. Be cool and hit that subscriber button. I don't know, right? All right. Uh, anyways, I, we, I guess we will see you on the next one when we are going to talk all spoilers, and it's it's going to be a doozy of a talk. So uh, until then, guys, have fun. Later.